cases after Irma. KRCG 13's Kaylee Peterson joins us at the quad with the damage a Jefferson City native is seeing from the ground. Thanks, Katie. We've been following Jefferson City native Alicia Snyder, who lives in Cooper City, Florida, as she braved Irma. Cooper City is in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. This morning, she says her city is one of the lucky ones. Schneider says a majority of the damage done is wind damage. Trees are down throughout the city. Some places in the city lost power for 30 hours. Other areas only lost power for 30 minutes. She said the roads are clear from, of water, but those are still blocked by trees. At one point, Schneider says there were six tornado warnings in an hour. Schneider says now the community will come together to help each other. People that didn't get hit as hard are really stepping up and helping the people that need that need the help to even be able to get out. Maybe the debris is blocking their house. Um, and they're they're really they're really stepping up and they're they're really taking care of each other. Looks like she's doing okay. Yeah and she was telling me that a lot of people around the town are using, you know, the uh, damage done in 10 hours will take 10 days to repair there, but she did what really an equation. lucky. Yeah. Wow. None Oof. of the trees in her area fell on her house. Nothing, so she got out really well. Well, good. Good to hear from her. Thank you, Kaylee. We'll check back in with you in a little. Well, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy has 